You can't sweep that under the rug. You can't do, you cannot sweep the helmet catch under the rug. You can't sweep Manningham catch under the rug. You cannot sweep the first ever 18 and 0 team losing to Eli Manning under the rug. <laughs> All right, look, we got to talk about the best quarterback in franchise history, man. We got to talk about Easy e Eli Manning, and the disrespect I'm seeing thrown at my quarterback. Now, y'all heard me say this with Daniel Jones. Y'all heard me say this a thousand times with Daniel Jones. It's okay for the fans of the team to criticize the quarterback. That's fine, okay? We spend our money, we spend our time, and we spend a little bit of our emotional, mental, physical well-being. We spend just a little bit of that every year on the team. Every man has only but so much fucks to give throughout the year. Every man has only so much emotional energy to, to like to, to shell out. And we we save a little bit. We got to deal with our girlfriends. We got to deal with our mothers. We got to deal with the homeboys. We got to deal with ourselves. But we still save just a little bit of emotional stress, mental health, physical well-being, we, we put a little bit away for September to January because we love our football team that much. So we have the right to criticize the players the way we see fit. But when it comes to you haters out there, know you're rolling and shut your mouth, okay? If you're a Giants fan and you want to bitch about Eli Manning being a 500 quarterback, I'm fine with that. If you're a Giants fan and you want to bitch about Eli Manning not being good enough to beat Kirk Cousins, Tony Romo, RG3 for the division the last half of his career, I'm fine with that. But if you're just some random fan who only watches Eli Manning in the playoffs or when he's on Monday Night Football versus the Cowboys, shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut your mouth. Because the only time you see Eli Manning is when he's beating Tom Brady in Super Bowls. The only time you're really watching Eli Manning is when he goes to Lambeau and beats Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. That's the only time you see Eli. So when you speak on Eli, it better be respectful. Is Eli Manning his big brother? No. Is Eli Manning better than Aaron Rodgers? No. Is Eli Manning better than Drew Brees? No. But guess what Eli Manning has? More Super Bowl MVPs than both of them. Peyton Manning don't got two Super Bowl MVPs. Aaron Rodgers only been to one Super Bowl. Drew Brees only been to one Super Bowl. Eli Manning got two Super Bowl MVPs. And those two Super Bowl runs, Eli Manning had 15 touchdowns and two picks. And those two Super Bowl runs... He has more road playoff wins than Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers. He has more road playoff wins than all of them. He has more road playoff wins than Brett Favre. He has more playoff wins as a whole than Steve Young. Like, what are we talking about? Eli Manning is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Because he beat Tom Brady in two Super Bowls. You cannot tell the history of football without mentioning Tom Brady, who's the GOAT, lost two Super Bowls to Eli Manning. You can't sweep that under the rug. You can't do it. You cannot sweep the helmet catch under the rug. You can't sweep Manningham catch under the rug. 
You cannot sweep the first ever 18 and 0 team losing to Eli Manning under the rug. Tom Brady is the GOAT. Eli Manning beat him twice. If Aaron Rodgers is the first ballot Hall of Famer, he lost at home to Eli Manning. Brett Favre was a first ballot Hall of Famer. He lost at home to Eli Manning in the playoffs. Eli Manning went to Lambeau and caught bodies on both of them. And if Odell Beckham could catch, he might have caught another body on Aaron Rodgers. So what are we talking about? You know the San Francisco team that had Frank Gore and Alex Smith and Aaron Smith and, and, and Patrick Willis. You know that, 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 that defensive team that the 49ers had that went to three straight NFC title games and went to a Super Bowl? Elon Manning beat them in San Fran in the title game in 2011. Aaron Rodgers can't even beat the Shanahan version of the 49ers. Eli Manning beat the Harborough 49ers with the goons on it. So if you're a Packer fan going into a playoff game, who would you ever have? Eli Manning or Aaron Rodgers? I'm not talking regular season. Obviously, for the regular season, give me Aaron Rodgers. It's not even close. But when the moment is the biggest... When the lights are the brightest, when the pressure is the most suffocating, when it gets thick in this bitch, I want number 10. I don't want 12. I don't want 18. I don't want number nine. I don't want number four. I want number 10. If you're not talking about Joe Montana or Tom Brady, it's Eli Manning. When you think of the most clutch quarterbacks in the Super Bowl era, I'm talking in the playoffs. The most clutch quarterbacks in the Super Bowl era of the playoffs. You got Eli Manning, Joe Montana, Tom Brady, and Mahomes. Let me not forget about the light-skinned nigga in Kansas City. Them is the four. When you think of clutch quarterbacks in the Super Bowl, when you need to get shit done, them is the four horsemen. Mahomes, Manning, and I ain't talking about Peyton, Brady, Joe Montana. Those are the four. When you're talking clutch Quarterbacks in Super Bowls, Eli Manning, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Joe Montana. That's the list. That's it. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. There's a lot of things. You can hate on Daniel Jones. Fine. You can't hate on Eli Manning. You want to hate on Odell. You want to hate on Malik Neighbors. You want to hate on certain. You want to laugh at the Giants on hard knocks. That's fine. But you cannot laugh at Eli Manning because he broke your heart twice. All you Brady lovers out there, all you Brady dick riders up there who, who, who's just so depressed that Tom Brady didn't go undefeated. It's Eli Manning's fault. Go blame Eli. Go direct that energy towards him because he's the reason your beloved Tom Brady didn't go 19 and up. Period. They find a way to hate on the Giants, bro. It's the same thing with Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson took a pay cut to play with his friends. And everybody called him stupid. Oh, how could you not take the money? How could you leave that much money on the table? If that was any other player in the NBA, they would have sucked his dick for months. Oh, he's a great teammate. He's the epitome of selflessness. But because it's a New York player, because it's a New York player, Oh, he's dumb. How could you ruin the market for other great players? They're supposed to take the money. New Yorkers can't win. We can't win. But anyway, that is it and that is all. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. Drop FUs in the comments if you rockin' with me. And stay vicious. Dismiss. <laughs>